Hey guys, so my first year of college has come to an end. Finals are happening and it's kind of crazy to think that I am now done with my first year of college. It's just really crazy because it seems like just yesterday I was <laughs> starting Marching Southerners and that was a crazy fun experience and I hope I get to do it again. Here are five things that I have learned as a college student. Number one, if you just let God handle it all, like trust that he has it all figured out, then things will work out for the best. Now, the reason why I say this is because it's something that I have somewhat known, but never actually really tried myself as far as like putting my trust fully in God and trusting that he will work it out. I had to do it a lot, especially in my first semester, that everything would work out as it's supposed to. Be and I actually kind of started learning this a little bit before I came to college, but it became more apparent and clear that um, that was how it's supposed to be when I got to college. Because when I was trying to decide what college I was going to go to, it wasn't necessarily clear. Cause I wasn't sure if I was going to get the scholarships I needed to come to Jacksonville. And the thing is, is that I found out like three days after I had already paid my housing deposit to go to Valdosta that I got the scholarships I needed to come here. And this is where I wanted to go to begin with. So it was very cool and God just kind of worked all that out and it was awesome. Number two, looking at life through the half full side of the glass instead of the half empty is always better. In high school, I was a little bit of a pessimist. Um, you can ask my family and they will agree. Specifically, my sophomore year it was really bad. My sophomore year of high school, um, my pessimism. And just not necessarily, I wasn't necessarily hardcore negative all the time. Uh, my sophomore year I kind of was, but as when I got through like my junior and senior year of high school, I was trying to be a little more optimistic, but it was a little hard because once you get into that groove of negativity, it just kind of takes you there. It's hard to get out of it, but it it's always better if you just look at things through the half full glass, as cliche as it sounds, but it has worked out for me and I have become a lot happier because of it. Number three, worrying about fitting in is absolutely pointless. This sounds like something you should probably be learning in high school, but it can be kind of hard to learn about that in high school because everyone's telling you you have to fit in some kind of circle. And it's not true. You can fit into your own self as long as you are true to yourself. As cliche as that sounds too, it's just better if you don't worry about fitting in with one particular circle. Because when you worry about that, then you're not going to be the self that people will be attracted to and actually want to be friends with. So you'll end up attracting fake friends instead of real friends. And let me tell you, real friends are always better. <laughs> Number four, finding a healthy way to deal with your stress before you get into stress makes it a lot better when you get into your stress. That's a whole lot of stuff to take in and it might not even make sense to you. But for me, I didn't necessarily find a very healthy way to deal with my stress and it became very um, destroying to myself and I should have found a healthy way before I got into the middle of my stress. Because when you're in the middle of it, you're not going to be able to think straight at all because stress just affects everything. So if you find a way to deal with your stress in a healthy way, like for me, one of the things I like to do is I like to just goof around and dance around my dorm room here. Or I will just watch a bunch of YouTube videos, or I will write, or I will sit, stand here and talk to a camera and probably never ever post it. But you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on what I feel like I want to share. But those are just things that I do to help cope with my stress. And I encourage you, if you are about to start college, or if, even if you are in college, or just anyone in general, because everyone deals with stress at any point in time, to find a healthy way to deal with your stress. That way, when you're in the middle of it, it's not going to be that bad. And the last one, number five, is that taking responsibility is important, but it doesn't mean you can't ask for help every now and then. Now, I started learning this in high school because the way my parents have it set up is that as you get older, you get a few more responsibilities that you have to take care of. 
And while I was not completely and totally lost when I got here to college because my parents had been doing that, I still didn't necessarily like asking for help. And I'm not saying that asking for help is a bad thing, because it's not, because everyone needs help. We are all human and we can't do everything on our own, but that doesn't mean there isn't that little hint of pride that says, I can do it. I don't need anybody's help. Don't listen to that voice. It's kind of stupid. Just saying. I listened to that voice and I didn't get very far. But, it's like, yes, you should take responsibility for yourself, your actions, and everything that you need to take responsibility for. I don't think I need to list out everything. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't ask for help from people who might be a little more knowledgeable about what you are confused on or just anything in general. Just don't feel bad if you feel like you need to ask for help. It's not a bad thing. So those are five things that I've learned this year at my first year of college and it's kind of crazy, like I said at the beginning, that it's done. But it's done and I'm happy that it's over because, not to mention, I'm, my brain's kind of tired. I'm ready for a summer break. So hopefully y'all have a fantastically awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.